Welcome back to day 10, our last day of our West Coast road trip traveling from the Mexican border to Cannon Beach. Today we will be traveling from Florence, Oregon to our final destination of Cannon Beach. So our overall progress by the end of this video will be the entirety of our West Coast adventure. Super foggy morning today. You can barely see the town across the way. Good morning from Florence, Oregon. Today is sadly the last day of our trip. We're getting breakfast at the Little Brown Hen Cafe right over there. Our final destination for tonight is going to be the famous Cannon Beach in Oregon. Then we have to head eastward to our new apartment. Oh, it's fogging up my lens. So there are chicken and waffles with bacon bits on it. We're currently filling up gas. They do it for you here, which is nice. Also, gas is almost a dollar. Actually, it might be more than a dollar cheaper than a lot of places in California, which is crazy. And this is where we're getting coffee this morning. Ocean Grinds Coffee Company here in Florence. I'm really going to miss seeing this coastline after today. It's so nice. Also, we found this one where we can actually walk down. It's a nice, easy walk. And there's a stream that runs through here. Let me show you. This is just too cool. Both sides are super nice. We got this side with the stream. And then on that side, the cliffs as well. I didn't even notice that where the stream was coming from, it goes under a bridge. This was another one of my bucket list spots here along the Oregon coast. We made it to Thor's Well, and I believe that's it right over here. You can kind of see like that little opening with the water shooting out. We're gonna go try and do this little hike down to get a closer look. Also here next to Thor's Well is this thing called Spouting Horn. I'll just keep the camera pointed here until we see something. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> that's the Spouting Horn. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, here comes a pretty decent sized wave. Our next stop on the Oregon coast is this Devil's Punch Bowl. And there it is, there's like a giant hole down there. You can see into the water. This is our next stop. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But we're gonna go check out the beach area here. This trail runs alongside this little creek. This is really cool. This stream and then this giant rock formation up front. The 101 is taking us away from the coastline, back into some windy roads, through some trees. There's the Blue Heron Cheese Factory, we'll come back to you another day. We made it to the Tillamook Creamery and there's a giant cow painting out front. Is that cheese up there? Look at all that cheese. And of course, gift shop, we'll come back to that later. We'll go ahead and start the self-guided tour upstairs. Look at this little baby calf. Finish your milk. The calf starts out needing about a gallon of milk a day. Feed the calf a bottle. This is what the factory looks like. Check out these giant tanks. Look at the blocks of cheese. getting vacuum sealed in that machine. And then after they get vacuum sealed, they get put in these cardboard boxes. We can now sample some of the cheeses here. Here's the two cheeses that we got, the medium cheddar and the Colby Jack to try. Now it's time for the gift store. Look at all the merch that they got. I really like these shirts that they got. Mugs are my weakness, but I'll be good and not buy any. I really want this ice cream cone one. We're choosing to eat here and I'm probably gonna get the cheeseburger. You can choose one of the different cheeses. We also got the hazelnut salted caramel ice cream. On the side of the 101 North is the original Pronto Pup. Rockaway Beach since 1941. They got a giant Pronto Pup up there on the roof. Sadly, they're closed today. But check out what they got up front too. You can ride your very own Pronto Pup. It's so fun. Stand a little further back, you can kind of get a better view of the giant one on top. 
This is a perfect way to end this journey with my microphone giving me issues, but we finally did it. We made it all the way to Cannon Beach, the final destination of our West Coast road trip. We didn't spend too much time here since we were so drained from driving the past 10 days. But that's it, this is just me talking about how we finally made it and now have to head eastward to our new apartment where we will continue this trip up north sometime in the future, eventually making our way to the Canadian border, checking out the coast of Washington. Alright and with that, thank you again everyone who has watched since day one starting at the Mexican border and following our adventure all the way up the west coast here to Cannon Beach. I'll see you folks on our next adventure.